Yo guys, welcome back. Quick, another breakdown of my Blender daily render here. <laughs> Trying to shoot for 30 straight days just because I want to see my improvement from day one to day 30. For 30 days. Uh, this time I came across Kit Bash, which I've known about before, but I've never really used any of their assets. So I jumped on the Kit Bash. They had this free kit called the Neo Kit. <laughs> so I grabbed a couple of buildings from here uh, to use and it worked out really well. I was really happy with the quality of these uh, of these files, they're amazing, dude. They're just fantastic, especially they're for free. So they got some pretty cool kits. Um, and then I also downloaded this OSM add-on here, which I got from Max. If you guys check out Max's YouTube, he's crushing it right now and he's got me motivated. Motivated? To do daily renders again. And um, it allows us to generate low, po low proxy buildings, basically. Like look, this whole scene here, let me go ahead and just jump in and show you guys the scene, what I got going here. It's a very simple scene, believe it or not. I generated these buildings from OM, o at OEMS or what I can, can- What'd you say? Pronounce the name of it. It's super easy. Here's the scene and it's not a lot of really going on here. Let me just zoom out. I basically generated the city one time and then, um, you know what? Let me just quickly show you the process. I'm not gonna do it because it's got I'm screen crap. It's gonna probably crash my computer. My computer because I got a, a low end laptop. That's another thing you can do. I'm making some cool renders on a very low end laptop, right? We go to this and you basically will hit select. It's going to open up another menu. It's going to open up a map. Get the map. Get the map. You zoom in on the map and then you select a small area. And then you basically, I think I came back in here and then I hit import. And then you can choose to turn off. You can import the, the water, the, the forest, import forests, vegetation. All I did was just roads, buildings. And I live in Osaka, Japan, so I basically took a, a slot from Tokyo, downtown Tokyo area, and took a small little sliver of that. Basically just Alt-D and made instant du duplicates of it, and then just rotated around, took some, extruded them up, took some, lowered them down, and just, you know, made it random, just kind of made it random. But like, you can literally see, this was the small, the original section here, just very small nothing too big and i just kept duplicating that around and then here in the back i kind of lifted these up and then brought all these down because my main buildings here were these these are going to be my main three objects and they're more high detailed use those for my main objects and then i even added a couple more from that kit bash to populate around this because there was so much low uh low poly stuff that it looked kind of cheesy all of a sudden we had boom high detail and all this low Ooh. So I added these couple other ones here to just to try to break up all that low poly detail and add a little bit of a high poly there. So, and then I took a couple of the high poly ones, as you can see here, I duplicated them. Um, again, alt duplicated in all these because they're heavy guys. So you got to alt duplicate them. I use those to kind of just get close here on the, let me go ahead and uh, show this with what it, I'm not going to render it here. Cause if I turn on the render, it's definitely going <laughs> to crash my computer. These couple buildings here, I just put them on the corner just to catch the corner of the frame. And then again, we're getting a lot of high detail right there. And then we, it's, it's like high detail, low poly, all this, and then high detail. So just a good mixture. I'm just happy with the results. Wow. And then I took these little, uh, it's basically a box. Let me see if I can zoom in. It's a box. And I basically just kind of just deformed it to look like a, a pod, pod, you know, hovercraft thing, thing in my bobber put a metallic surface on it, all duplicated it and made it look like, you know, they're like flying along the sky there. And this is like traffic, right? So super easy and super low poly and it's just all delete. And then with the lighting, should we go for it guys? I'm going to try to do it. Here we go. I'm going to hit render <laughs> and it crashed. <laughs> 10 hours later. No, it, yeah, it crashed, which I knew it. I was just trying. I was just trying. I want to see if I could show you guys it, but it didn't work out. Basically, this is it. The scene is very simple, very basic. Uh, using that plugin to generate all these buildings here, textured those buildings up, basically populated them in all throughout the scene, added a few more here in the foreground of the camera to get that little bit of a uh, some foreground. Again, I got the foreground. I got a mid ground, which is the three buildings. And then I got the background and then the sky here. Uh, another technique that I've learned from CG boost. I, I took their environmental class, their landscape class, taking a image as plain texture, bringing that in, uh, setting it to admission a little bit. Uh, let me show you here. I can actually show you here the, the setup. Can I actually do this? Yes. Boom. Very simple setup here. 
just take the image as planes, bring it in, one into the admission, one into the base color. And then from there, boom, make a giant plane. And what's also rotating it slightly forward to give it that slightly perspective, like the, the distance here really helps also sell the effect. I understand. That's what I did there. And then I added this box here, which I added in a, a, a haze, basically like a haze uh, fog or something like that. You can see the settings also here. Control space bar zooms into one screen like this. And these are the settings that I ended up on using on this here, principal value shader. I just went uh, 002, plug that into the value, and then uh, anaprostity. What'd you say? At 0.9, this means that the haze will be closer to the light source versus just being distributed all throughout the whole image. Got it. Uh, throughout the whole box. So this is like wherever the brighter the light is, the more stronger that the haze is gonna look there. So uh, kind of like, you know, the sun and it'll be super bright off of that. So uh, control space bar that does that. And that was that. And then I used the textures that basically came with this these kits. You got kit bash, they'll show you how to set them up and then bring them in and import them into a scene. Kits for this, these did not have any type of, uh, what is it, shift H. Yeah, shift H to isolate it, hit the P button. I just put some generic texture on here. Nothing special. You guys can watch uh, Max's tutorial. He did, that's where I got the idea, the motivation from. I saw how he did this. I mean, it just literally took one image, <laughs> it on there, right? And just kind of sized it up. I took another image here on the top just to add the roofs. And that's pretty much it. Alt duplicated it <laughs> all around the scene. Alt H unhides that. Yeah, you can see this. I was going with a different vibe at first. I had this massive Rubik's Cube in here and that ended up not using that. So <laughs> let me go ahead and hide that again. Boom. And that's it, guys. That's a quick breakdown of the scene. Most of the magic happens in Photoshop, like the post-processing that I did in Photoshop really took this, this image up to the next level. So take a look at this video here and you can see that process and the, some of the tricks that I use to really just give it that, that look because coming out of uh, Blender here, it was, it was a little okay. But love it. Photoshop took it up to the next level. So take a look at that. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Keep rendering.